안녕하세요. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to make Korean progressive tenses. Before we begin, let's check out how and when we use this form. The first sentence is 저는 지금 점심을 먹어요. Which means, I eat lunch now. This sentence tells the fact or the truth that what the person does. The second sentence is 저는 지금 점심을 먹고 있어요. Which means, I am eating lunch now. This sentence emphasizes the action that person is doing. Normally, in English, we call this ing form. Now, let's study how to conjugate. Here we go. This is 가다, which means to go. The conjugation is very simple. First, remove 다. Second, place 고 있어요 next to the stem. That's it. There is nothing more to do. So, 가다 becomes 가고 있어요, which means I am going. What about the irregular verbs? Let's have a look. This is 듣다, which means to listen to or to hear. You know that its present simple tense is 들어요. This verb is one of the digit irregular verbs. However, we don't need to worry about the irregular rules. We just remove 다 and place 고 있어요 next to the stem. So, 듣다 becomes 듣고 있어요, which means I am listening to or I am hearing. Let's practice with other verbs. You can pause the video for a while and guess the answers. Okay, ready? 자다 becomes 자고 있어요. 뛰다 becomes 뛰고 있어요. 걷다 becomes 걷고 있어요. And 짓다 becomes 짓고 있어요. We can also make the progressive tense of nida form from a oyo progressive tense. We just change isoyo into isumida. Chago isoyo, chago isumida. Tigo isoyo, tigo isumida. Koko isoyo, koko isumida. And chiko isoyo, chiko isumida. So far, we learned how to make the present progressive tense. Now, we can also make the progressive forms in past and future tense. For example, we see the first sentence, 가고 있어요, which means, I am going. The point is, we only need to change the verb 있다 into the past or the future tense. I believe you know how to conjugate the verb 있다 into the two forms. If you don't, you can check out my previous videos about them. So, the second sentence is 가고 있었어요, which means I was going. And the last one is 가고 있을 거예요, which means I'll be going. So easy, right? There are more points to make sure. You already know the first one. You don't need to worry about the irregular forms. Just remove 다 and place the right progressive tense endings. The second one is more important. Make sure you conjugate only the action verbs, not the adjective verbs. For example, if you conjugate 바쁘다 or 쉽다 into the progressive tense, they do not make sense at all. 바쁘고 있어요, 쉽고 있어요. Ugh, they sound very weird. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you have any question or anything to say, please leave some comments below. It would be great if you share this video with your Korean learning communities and your friends. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, until next time. 다음에 봐요.